today's story. Beneath the intense white light of the late morning sun, the African savanna ripples with heat. Across the dry grasslands, a prehistoric lioness moves steadily. Three young cubs following close behind. They advance through scattered acacias and dusty paths toward a small campfire. Where a porcupine mother rests with her three young. does not last. The lioness lowers her posture, eyes fixed on the porcupine babies. In a swift, precise movement, she snatches one of them and retreats at full speed. The porcupine mother reacts instantly, her spines raised as she charges after the predator. The chase ends at a sturdy tree. The lioness climbs to a thick branch with the stolen baby in her jaws, while her cubs remain below, unable to follow. Porcupine mother reaches them. Seeing the helpless cubs launches a piercing attack that forces them backward. Instinct overcomes caution. The lioness leaps from the tree and engages the porcupine in a desperate fight. Porcupine's defense is overwhelming. One spine after another lodges deep into the lioness's body. Wounded and overwhelmed, she collapses onto the dust. As the porcupine gathers her young and disappears into the brush. Confused and frightened, the lion cubs nudge their mother, realizing she cannot rise. With no other choice, they run across the savanna seeking help. Their path leads them to a homo habilis settlement. The hominins, robust, fur-covered, and dressed in simple animal hides, emerge from their circular huts as the cubs cry out. Understanding the urgency, the homo habilis gather long branches and flexible roots to assemble a primitive stretcher.
Following the cubs, they reached the injured lioness lying in the dust. Her body covered in dark spines. Coordinated effort, they lift her onto the stretcher and carry her back toward the village. Dust rising behind them in golden clouds. At the center of the settlement, they place the lioness beside the main fire, letting its warmth stabilize her breathing. An elder Homo habilis, distinguished by his white fur and deep-set eyes, approaches with a bowl of medicinal milk, raising her head gently so she can drink. One by one, he removes each porcupine quill with steady, patient hands. When the last spine is gone, he applies a healing clay mixture onto each wound. Exhausted, the lioness falls into a deep sleep beside the fire. While her cubs curl up at her side, time passes, shadows shift, the fire glows. Eventually, the lioness opens her eyes and rises slowly to her feet. She approaches the elder and gently touches his forehead with her tongue, a rare gesture of gratitude. He responds with a respectful touch to her face. Reunited with her cubs, the lioness walks back into the savannah, moving toward distant mountains, softened by a thin veil of midday haze. The Homo habilis watch her go, knowing they have saved a powerful creature, and in doing so, preserved a fragile balance in the wild. Under the white African sun, the scene closes with a sense of calm, continuity, and the quiet bond between early humans and the animals that shared their world. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe.